entry requirements. This is one very common question which students ask and they goof up. For undergrad, if you're applying for undergrad level six programs, we need to have minimum 60% class 12s. Yeah? If you have done diploma, three or four years of diploma from a state board of technical education or any allied health subject, which includes dentistry, pharmacy, then we need minimum 55% or above. Yeah? For postgrad courses level seven, if the students should have minimum three years bachelor's degree, which is obvious, 50% or above from the following universities. If you are from any of these universities, tier one cities, which includes Delhi, Mumbai, Pune, Bangalore, Kolkata, Chennai, Anabhartya, Baroda. These cities, universities, if you have studied from, 50% we require, yeah? If you have studied from any other UGC recognized institution, we require minimum 55% or above. This is the entry requirement. I'm going to move on to the next slide. Language requirement. So question asked by students are, do we get IELTS waiver? Yes, you have an option to get IELTS waiver. Before I talk about IELTS waiver, few updates and important information for you all. We accept three things, IELTS, TOEFL, PTE. These three things, yeah? except for the ones who studied in English medium schools throughout their studies and achieved one of the following results. So if you look at the uh, four points down below, if you have studied from, let's say CBSE, IGCSE or IB, 60% or above if you have got in English, English, then you might be eligible to get an IELTS waiver. Yeah, if you have studied from any state board, Maharashtra, West Bengal, Karnataka, Delhi, Tamil Nadu, 60% or above in English. In English, do not get confused. This is English language requirement. In, in English, if you have got 60% or above, class 12th, I repeat, class 12th, then you, are, you might be eligible for an IELTS waiver. Kerala State Board, 65% or above. All other state boards, minimum 70% or above. Okay, and this table is just for your information. However, it depends from course to course. Academic, right, uh, this IELTS requirement, PTE requirement, TOEFL, it differs from course to course. Do not go by this, this, or this. You have to go to the website and check which course you're applying for and IELTS requirement. And then you look at the table, yeah? Okay, now I'm coming to a few information, important things which I would like to inform you. Since right now, because of lockdown, things are closed. They are still not functional. We understand the difficulty students are facing. So for now, students are eligible. I mean, they can, sorry, they can um, apply for IELTS indicator. Yeah, it is absolutely same the way you go and give IELTS paper at any of the, uh, let's say, any centers. It is same. Here, the center is your home. You have to stay at home, give an IELTS exam at home. Nothing changes. Everything is same. The only difference is that the slots are limited. IELTS indicator, if you look, log on to the website, you will have all information. I believe they, are, they take place once a week, which is Wednesdays only. And the report card is sent within a week. Okay. And try not to cheat. Otherwise, you will be dismissed. So these are the information which I wanted to share with you. Another very important thing, yesterday only, I and my colleague, we were attending a webinar and students asked us, ma'am, we have got just 0.1 remark less in IELTS indicator. Sorry. Even if you have got 0.5 less or one, even if you have got whatever, if you have not met the requirement, you are not eligible. You have to give it again. We are not relaxing that at all. If you if you are required to, let's say, six, if you are required to give uh, a take um, six, 6.0 in speaking and writing and 5.5 in reading, and if you have got six and 5.5, sorry, we will not consider it. You need to get this, yeah? Okay, I'll move on to the next slide. Pre-sessional, another important update. If you do not meet these requirements, yeah, 
for your course you may be eligible to enroll onto our pre sessional english program which is for two week two types of programs one is five weeks and one is 11 weeks start dates are august november and for the 11 weeks it's july and october before i move on now i'm sure you must be thinking that because of lockdown how will we go and give the exam as it is usually taken place in uk so for such students who are asked to go for a pre sessional test this is the uh, sorry this i'm sorry 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 i'm so sorry so the update is that for pre sessional we have also allowed students to give a pre sessional at home we can you can give pre session at home this is not documented yet however we will be sharing the information entire information correct information with you shortly yeah so a quick quick glimpse of eligibility criteria let's say you've applied for undergrad and they have asked you to let's say you have to meet xyz criteria you could not meet that criteria and you've got 5 with no less than 5 in any component then you should go for 5 weeks and if you have got 4.5 with no less than 4.5 in any component then you should go for 11 weeks similarly if you if you think about going for post grad courses there are 5 weeks and 11 weeks similarly for 5 weeks programs with ias 6 requirement and you've got 5.5 with no less than 5.5 in any component that means you have not met the requirement you should go for 5 weeks for programs with ias 6.5 and you have got 6 with no less than 5.5 you should go for 5 weeks let's talk about 11 weeks for programs with ias 6 requirement you have got 5 which is lesser than this with no less than 5 in any component that means your english is poor go for 11 weeks for programs with ias 6.5 you have got 5.5 which is lesser than this no less than 5 you should go by 11 weeks simple it's not that complicated and if you want any further information you can log on to our website and have more details about this about the pre sessional starting to i mean you can take it from home we will definitely let you know as soon as it is documented 